Hey guys, um, so for this first uh, video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to real quickly go through the first three uh, problems on your study guide, and that's going to kind of give us some of the basic rules, um, and then you can go through and you can use those basic rules to try and figure out some of the more complicated ones. So for the first one, I'm going to zoom in here. We've got um, 2w to the third all raised to the fourth. So if we remember some of our steps here that we want to do, um, we want to think about two and w to the third as two separate factors. So we want to kind of split those apart and we'll think of two and w to the third as two separate factors. Now we have to deal with this four and let's remember that we want to distribute that to each of our factors that we separated out. So we're going to do two to the fourth and then also w to the third to the fourth. Um, and if you've done this a different way, that's fine. Um, this is just how I like to think of it with separating my factors, so I, so I keep it all together. Um, and so 2 to the 4th, um, I can do that on my calculator, or I can just think of it as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. So that's 16. And then whenever we have this situation where we've got uh, w to the third raised to the fourth power. We call this a power of a power, and remember that if I have an exponent on the inside of the parentheses and an exponent on the outside of the parentheses, I multiply those two exponents together. Don't punch into your calculator three raised to the fourth power. That'll be wrong. Um, instead, we just multiply three times four, and we get w to the twelfth. So that's our answer, 16w to the twelfth. Okay, now for the second one. We're going to do the same thing. So so we split up 7, all right, and then P, and then we think about having each of those raised to the third power. Um, and so we do 7 to the third power, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, punch into my calculator real quick. Uh, 7 times 7 times 7. So that's going to be uh, 343. And then down here on the bottom, I've just got P to the third, good. All right, let's do the third one and then we'll be done with this video. Okay, so dealing with negative exponents. Okay, so we've dealt with negative exponents a lot and remember that to make an exponent negative, we wanna move it, to, or make a negative exponent positive, we move it to the opposite side of the fraction. So for this one, the way that I like to think of this is I imagine that this is really a fraction. Any, real, any number is, is really just a fraction because we can always put a, a whole number over one. So x to the negative fifth is the same as x to the negative fifth over one. And to make that negative five a positive, we have to move the whole chunk down below. Okay, so what we end up with is one over x to the positive fifth. Um, it's a really good thing to keep in mind that for your answers to these questions, you can never have a negative exponent in your final answer. You always have to get rid of that negative exponent by making it positive, by moving it um, to the opposite side of the fraction. Okay, that's the first three, so you guys uh, take a try with some of the, the other ones after that. 